The biggest news in technology right now is Intel's new 14th gen chips, formerly known by the codename Meteor Lake and now known as the Intel Core Ultra Processors. There's a lot new here, not only enhanced AI capabilities and better onboard graphics, but also new connectivity features, better power efficiency and advancements that are going to impact a lot of the software you already use, especially if you're a content creator. At the core of these new chips is what they call Intel 4, which is a 7 nanometer process and the biggest leap there for Intel since 2019. With smaller transistors, you get more clock speed from the same power budget, which is why you hear people talking about CPU process technology all the time. 14th gen Intel systems will have integrated Thunderbolt 4 by default, which will drive at least dual 4K monitors or a single 8K display. And depending on the graphics hardware you have, you could potentially drive many more displays than that. Wi-Fi 6E is also integrated by default, and many 14th gen systems are going to be compatible with the Wi-Fi 7 standard, so you can expect much better wireless connectivity, especially if you're trading up from an older laptop. Moving on to the big topic that will dominate 2024 and beyond, AI, these 14th gen chips feature not only a CPU and a GPU, but also an NPU or neural processing unit. Now, why do you want local AI running on your machine instead of using cloud-based AI? One good reason is security. You can make sure that the data you feed into AI stays local on your machine and doesn't end up anywhere else. In the most basic terms, the GPU powers high throughput, high power AI tasks, while the NPU handles sustained AI workloads, offloading those from the CPU and GPU to save you power and save you battery life. But how does this impact popular creative apps and what you do with them? Well, with AI enhancements, things like Adobe Creative Cloud apps or OBS can give you more efficiency and boost creativity. For example, Adobe Suite could see smarter auto editing features and faster rendering times, thereby improving your creative workflow. Now, having game-ready graphics built right into your CPU has long been a goal for the PC industry. Intel's most advanced version of that is called Intel Arc. Intel says the latest gen of Arc graphics roughly doubles the graphics performance from the previous generation. Now, how do Intel's new Meteor Lake processors actually perform? We got one of the very first models with an Intel Core Ultra processor in it. It is an Acer Swift Go 14, and we compared it against a slightly older model, an Acer Swift X with an Alder Lake processor. And according to the PC benchmarking done by the Micro Center Labs, this is how those two systems compare. Some Intel 14th gen systems are launching right now, and Micro Center has the largest Instra launch lineup out there, including models from Acer and MSI. We're going to have a lot more in early 2024, and we're going to be seeing a lot more at CES 2024, so stay tuned for that.